Hey guys, so today I wanted to do uh, what I, in my working life we called a post-mortem and that really means uh, looking at some stuff that went wrong during some kind of a process and talking about what went wrong and figuring out why it went wrong and fixing it for future processes. <laughs> anyway, so yesterday I made um, some of this hamburger relish the video should have played by now, but two of the jars didn't seal, which I was surprised. When I pulled it out, this one wasn't sealed, but then another one came unsealed. They seem to seal when I push them in, but they're not sealed. They're not sealed at all. So I wanted to look at uh, the jars and go over with you what I think might have happened here. And I actually still have the canner with the canning fluid in it, so we can take a look at that to help with the postmortem here and to discuss what went wrong, why I think these jars didn't seal. And I wanted to introduce you to Senora Verde. She's a tomato I picked, and I just thought she was hilarious. Uh, I didn't expect her to start changing colors, but she is turning red. That doesn't really happen to me with green tomatoes, so I don't know what her name will be in a little while. But she's going to pop up around some videos until, until she goes south. But she's got a beautiful hairdo and a cleft in her chin, and she's just ready for action. Anyway, isn't that pretty funny? Oops. Get back up there. She oversees. She's my foreman. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take off the bands. No, it's a little stuck. These are old bands. I've used them a lot. They fit well. They go on easily. So the bands aren't a problem. I'll pop off the top. Pop off that top. It stuck a little bit, but it still popped off. So I'm going to look at this top and try to see if I can see anything wrong. And you see that right there? That is a piece of cucumber or onion or something that was in this jar. So I see that the head space was supposed to be a half inch. It's about a half inch head space. And um, it should have sealed, but I went around the top as well and put it on my tongue, took a taste of it, and it should taste like white vinegar. It tastes sweet. So this piece got in the way, and I had a little bit of siphoning, I think. And that's just when the liquid will just kind of come out the top, because you have the band on, but you have the band on like finger tight. The top can still move up and down in there, right? Up and down a little bit, it'll have some place. So it should move up, let um, some of the air out, but in addition to the air, it was letting some of the fluid out. So I know that because the top of this rim has um, sugar on it, and I tasted the canning water. It's clear, so you can't really tell, but the canning water is a little sweet, and it really shouldn't be. And that is also what happened with this smaller jar, although I don't find any residue of vegetable on there. I do see a couple areas that are kind of rusty. Oh no, maybe that's spice. Those are, see that little thing? It looks kind of like dirt. I think that's a little spice that got in the way. So I think these, these lids are okay. They're old. Um, I bought a couple gross of lids about, well in 2013, a long time ago, but I've stored them wisely. I've been using them for years. So they're the old, thicker wider rubber band, thicker tops. Um, so I think that's what went wrong. So I just wanted to talk with you a little bit about what you can do to see if something has gone wrong. So how do I fix this? Well, next time I'll make sure I do a much better job of wiping off the top of all of these. I was moving pretty quick yesterday, and so that's my own damn fault. Um, another thing I want to do is just make sure that the tops of these are uh, they don't have any cracks in them, anything like that, and I should have done that yesterday, but I didn't. Again, I was rushing. So they feel good. They look good. So uh, I'll probably clean these tops. They've been through the processor once. I may use them again. Really what I should do is throw these away and use new lids but and reprocess if I want to reprocess. If I want to, I can just pop these tops on just as is, pop them in the refrigerator and use them. But this is a lot of sweet relish for me to go through, considering I already have another jar opened from um, previous 
so I don't want to have to try to have to go through all this and and lose it so I'm going to be doing some cowboy candy some pickled jalapenos and I'm going to reprocess these with that batch so um, if there wasn't a lid shortage I might get brand new lids but I think these lids are they're going to be okay I'm going to re I'm going to reuse lids I know it's against everything you've ever heard you're not supposed to reuse lids but people do reuse lids people can in me or in uh, mayonnaise jars and um, salad dressing jars and things like that so you know there are ways there if you get stuck there are ways so what did we do we looked at the bands we looked at the lid we discovered that there was some crap on the on the top on both of these so what we're going to do is clean those up clean these up really well get new water obviously in the canner um, and we tasted the water in the canner to see if there was anything wrong with it and we did notice that it was sweet so we did get some siphoning all the other jars sealed uh, but these two didn't and I'm going to try to reprocess these which means when I do my next canning I'm gonna to have to bring these out way in advance they need to get at least room temperature and then what I'll do is get this canner boiling and then with the lids on with the tops on after these are warm as room temperature I'll get the canner boiling and put these in here for a while till this gets hot before I lower it in or I could take empty these jars out dump them in a in a pot or a pan heat all that back up heat the jars up and do it that way either way but for now I'm gonna pop these back in the refrigerator because I'm not ready to do that so I just wanted to review with you um, how to do a post-mortem with a can canning. And if you look at all that stuff and none of those things seem to be wrong, check for scratches, check for cracks, check for chips, uh, check to make sure that the rubber on the rings is the same size all the way around. Sometimes you'll get like a... a scratch through one or some of the rubber will be missing or the lid won't be straight it'll be curled on one end but you'll usually be able to figure out what went wrong and um, yeah so that's how to do a post-mortem on canning right right